What's up, it's Fire Me Chef Jeff. Woo! And tonight I'm gonna to cook a Spanish garlic steak pinwheel using tender skirt steak, pounded thin, rolled with Spanish manchego cheese, some cooked chorizo, fresh parsley, and grilled and seared to perfection. For the steak, of course, we're gonna have our skirt steak. I'm gonna do some cooked ground chorizo. I've got uh, the manchego cheese that I'm going to shred up. Got some fresh parsley, and I'm gonna use salt and pepper garlic powder and some beef tallow. So. And for the garlic wine sauce, I'm gonna use some good olive oil, some white wine. I've got the uh, minced garlic parsley. I'm gonna use some fresh lemon juice and some salt. That's it. Roll it up, cut it, out to the grill. Go ahead and uh, pound your meat out. Get it nice and thin and try to get it even. Cook your chorizo. So this uh, manchego cheese is Spain's most popular cheese. It's uh, like a nutty, uh, slightly sweet and tangy cheese. And uh, it's crafted only in the La Vecina region of Spain. Um, and it's only uh, comes from the milk of the Manchiga sheep. So it's kind of a special cool cheese. So we'll go ahead and shred this up good. To assemble, we've got these um, kind of straightened out in a rectangle. We'll go ahead and put our Manchiga cheese down first. Yes, yes, sir. And then we'll go ahead and grab our cooked chorizo. And we'll put that on next. Go ahead and um, take your chorizo, sprinkle that on, just like a that. Ooh, it's hot. Make sure it's cooled down or you wear some gloves or whatever you know, your heart is content with. And then go ahead and use some of your fresh parsley. And you're gonna use some butcher twine or some skewers and you're gonna just roll this up tightly and tie it up and you'll cut it into nice little pinwheels. Let's do it. All right, I've got these skewered up. Now I'm gonna hit them with some, uh, some of my uh, beef tallow. Put a little bit of fat on them, both sides. Then I'm gonna season it up with uh, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Then we're gonna throw them on the grill, sear them, and cook them. We're gonna go ahead and sear these bad boys for about one minute on each side. Get them crispy and caramelized. And then we're gonna pop them on the grill on the uh, non-heat side at about 400 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes until it reaches about 125 internal. Let's cook. Get that nice sear on them. Go Cowboys. Place these on the indirect side here. Cook them. We'll come get them in about 15 minutes. Let's make our wine sauce. Ooh, they are good, looking good and ready to be pulled off the grill. 